Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party knockoff review. I, I say third party knockoff. Um, these are the latest offerings from Machine Boy. Now I saw Machine Boy back at the Hong Kong Toy Fair in 2015. And they had some very strange looking Transformers, kind of their versions of uh, Springer, etc. And then this year, we get these. Now these are basically their versions of the Wu Kongs bootlegs of Warbatron. <laughs> now I say that they're based on the Wu Kong versions and not the Warbatron versions because not only do we get some pretty funky cards, you've got God of War. Oop. God of War Machine Boy toys. But we also get all of the additional Warbatron accessories, including the add-on pieces they gave us, and you get those crazy Gundam weapons that Wukong gave us, therefore indicating to me that they were indeed copied from Wukong. And that's not even the best part. Normally these Chinese companies tend to get things lost in translation, but they've given these guys some pretty darn awesome names. I bring to you Foxhound, Shadow Shuttle, Thor Tiger, and Nightingale. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Now the question on everybody's lips are, are these worth the money? Because these are a fraction of the cost of the Wukong, which are in turn a fraction of the cost of the Warbatron. Uh, they feel bloody good. They're not without their faults. If you look, you've got some markings there on the tail. It doesn't quite peg together properly. These two do peg, but not amazingly. It doesn't push all the way down. How they've copied the mold, I think they've made some of these pegs just too big. If you look at the blades here, they all push in, but this one just won't quite go in. I mean, I could probably tidy that up by just shaving it around a little bit. It's definitely not a deal breaker for me. It feels very, very solid. The plastic used is nigh on spot on. It's pretty much identical to Warbatron and Wukong. Uh, the paint applications are okay. I kind of like them. You do have this nice uh, windscreen on the front here. Very, very nice, clean. Props to Warbatron. Always give props where they're due. Warbatron done a fantastic job designing these. There's a lot of heft to these. Loving the colours. Uh, this is pretty much going to be my Fruticus. You see what I mean? It doesn't quite collapse fully on those legs. So I may have to take them apart and just have a little looky on the inside there to see what's going on. Uh, final finishing, again, isn't as up to scratch as Warbatron did. But then again, Wukong kind of rushed both of their flyers out as well, didn't they? These do look fantastic. I'm genuinely impressed by the build quality as well. I was expecting something a lot worse. Uh, I look, saw them on Sir Toys. I thought, bugger it, I'm going to give it a go. And I'm very glad I did. <sighs> Swindle, <laughs> you look amazing. These really do scream kind of generation two to me. I mean, for this price, if you want to paint your own, these are really good fodder. You could have a very decent Shattered Glass, G2, anything. You know, you could have a very good repaint of uh, Bruticus. Just very, very impressed by the build quality. Again, if you look here, I do have a little bit of stress around my holes. My peg was too big for the hole. Um, uh, it does require a bit of a force to get it in there. Uh, again, I could probably get away with just shaving a fraction off these pegs. It's not essential, because yeah, it does go in, does go out. 
you know. But this is just nitpicking. At the end of the day, you're paying approximately the same price for this as you are a Hasbro Deluxe. And this honestly knocks the pants off of Hasbro. Here they are in their robot mode. They kind of look like some sort of 80s Avengers team, don't they? With all those different variations in colour. Ah, oh, I absolutely love their blast off. I mean, just look at that neon green. It's gorgeous. And look at Vortex. Vortex wearing a nice little blue tuxedo there with a red shirt to finish. Look in Incredible. Now, unfortunately, these big bad boys are not without their faults. As pimping as Vortex looks, he does, in fact, suffer from limp arm and limp wrist syndrome. The arm needs to be tightened at the top here. We didn't get that with the Wukong. We didn't get that with the Warbatron. I assume I can get in there, I reckon, and tighten that by taking it apart it doesn't look to be super difficult and again the wrist is just a little bit limp but wow doesn't he look fabulous <laughs> I really love how these feel in hand in their bot modes it's a strange kind of situation i love the wukong uh, bootlegs they are brilliant but these feel better, in my opinion. They feel more like toys. They're kind of thicker. Uh, just got a different plastic consistency. Uh, I'd be more happy with my son to play with these. I think, again, they're targeted at a younger audience, so the plastic consistencies have been changed. I think maybe some of the detailing is lost a little bit on these, very, very slightly. And maybe that's because of the plastic consistency difference. But I, I these feel like Hasbro. Design-wise, I've gone over these several times with a fine-tooth comb, and they pretty much are identical. The only one I've found a slight difference with is Brawl. For some reason, he does not have light piping. I don't really understand why. I mean, they've painted up his eyes there in a very high gloss yellow, but every other figure has the light piping that was included with Warbatron and the Wukong knockoffs. Not really sure what they were doing with Brawl, but hey, ho, let's go. As previously mentioned, they're not without flaws. We do have some little niblets on there, kind of the sprue marks. Uh, there's, n there's no grease or oil to the plastic. It doesn't smell. Some of the figures you get uh, as stupid as it sounds, they really do smell somewhat bad. And the plastic has like a residue to it. Uh, nothing like that with these. I feared we may get something like that just because of how cheap these are. And yes, uh, Machine Boy have actually made a very big impact in my collection. Last but not least, my favourite from the group. He looks outstanding. They've carried over this light piping as well, and they've carried it over with this gorgeous green. Now, I've had a few people say that the pegs are a little bit untoward on these. Um, to be honest with you, I think that's a pretty strong ratchet on there. So I don't see there would be any problems whilst that's attached to Onslaught. Uh, Onslaught from Machine Boy is penciled in for August, I believe. Now, of course, I will still be getting the Wukong Onslaught. As, again, I have no date for him, uh, but I do want to complete my Generation 1 style Bruticus. Just that nice colour scheme. But as soon as Machine Boys becomes available, I will definitely be getting that. I'll definitely be jumping on that bandwagon because I am very impressed with this very high-end offering from them. Here they are alongside their Wukong counterparts. They are ruddy good. I do like how they look. It's all dependent on what you're after. If you're after that G1-esque paint scheme, then you're not going to go far wrong with the Wukong. But if you're after a Starburst Opal Fruit Fruit Pastel burst of colour to lighten up your shelves, then Machine Boy are definitely worth the money. Coming in at a fraction of the cost of any of their rivals, I can't recommend them enough. All of this Machine Boy 
Toy lineup was ordered from Sir Toys. If you'd like the look of any of them, I've included the links below. Just click through and it takes you straight through to the sale page. And I've also just ordered myself a Machine Boy Oversized Combiner Wars Power Glide. Now he stands, I believe, approximately the same size as Masterpiece Bumblebee. Now, looking back at some of the earlier animation, I think that's a pretty darn good scale. And at around $7.99, you cannot go wrong. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope this video has been useful. I know a few of you out there were wondering about the quality of these figures. And like I mentioned earlier on, I cannot recommend them enough. Until next time, from myself... And the God of War Machine Boy team, thanks for watching, goodbye.